Speaking of all this summer travel, mm -hmm. all this week, Good Morning Connecticut taking you on the beach. All right, this morning we are on stop number three and we are taking a look at Hammond Acid Beach State Park in lovely Madison. News 8's Kent Pierce is there for us live this morning. Kent, good morning. Oh, look. And you know, Lauren, keep you living the, the life, huh? We're looking at for Beach Week. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is not bad. Of all the beaches we're looking at this week, Hammond Asset has the most going on, the most changes for this summer season. And it makes sense because Hammond Asset is the largest of the state beaches and it's the busiest as well. Just one of those changes, the very welcome sight of the building you see behind me there. Hammond Asset Beach is the crown jewel of Connecticut State Parks. With two and a half miles of sand, it's the largest state beach, and on a hot summer weekend, it is also one of the busiest. Despite its size, the parking lots do fill up and don't even try to get a spot in the campground. For Memorial Day weekend, we are already booked in the campground. Uh, there are no sites to be had, period. So that just shows the popularity uh, of this facility. We were here last Memorial Day with campers who reserve 11 months ahead of time. Basically a year in advance. Yeah. So when we get home, it's like a 30-day waiting period before we can try to get the site. Near the campground, a new bathhouse and concession building is opening up this week. It replaces one damaged by Irene back in 2011. Park Supervisor Bill Mattioli says that storm had a pretty big impact on Hammond Asset. Personally, I came down during uh, Hurricane Irene, and I've never seen the water uh, in places that it was that day. Uh, but that was many years ago, and thankfully we've done the necessary repairs, so... We're back up and ready for business. The business of Hammond Asset used to be bombs and guns. Winchester Repeating Arms bought the land in 1898 and used it to test rifles. In World War II, it was used for target practice by military planes. These days, the focus is on nature. Three years ago, a greenway trail opened up through some of the wetlands. This year, Meg's Point gets a bigger, better nature center for summer learning or for visits during the school year. We are really busy all year round. Uh, even even when it snows, we have a tremendous number of people here. They want to see what the wildlife is doing. They want to see, you know, what the area looks like in a snowstorm. So it's a very popular place regardless of the time of year. I'm sure it's lovely in a snowstorm, but I'll take it during the summer months. Thank you very much. And that new nature center and the new bathhouse right back here are scheduled to open up in time for this weekend, Memorial Day weekend. We're live at Hammond Asset Beach State Park in Madison. I'm Kent Pierce. Back to you guys. Kent, thank you.